Donald Trump and J.D. Vance don't arrive in Grand Rapids until tomorrow, but you may not guess that based on the line already forming outside Van Andel Arena. Yeah, they're already there. Max Goldwasser has been hanging out there today as well. And, and Max, right about this time tomorrow, the former president should be taking the stage. It's like these people are waiting in line for a concert. Yeah, and... I mean, no surprise, Josh. Van Andel is hosting one of the most historic election events ever. Donald Trump's first campaign rally since surviving an assassination attempt last Saturday. And the line has already started. Doors don't open until 1 p.m. tomorrow. I'd say there's about a crowd of maybe a, a couple dozen people here. So they're not taking any chances. It's a first come, first served basis. So they are getting prepared well ahead of time and they're not the only ones with early preparations though i spoke with lewis langham he is a uh, a retired michigan state police detective and uh lieutenant with the force he was with them for 25 years he also served nine of those as a liaison to the secret service and, and he tells me that they have been uh you know agents have been in town throughout the entire week securing the site they schedule meetings they they make plans and together they set up air support with helicopters they provide canine services with bomb sniffing dogs and motorcycle support for the motorcade he says along the 14.6 mile route from GRR International to Van Andel Arena downtown, so it takes you along I-96 to 196 to US-131. Secret Service agents and law enforcement officials will be in position several hours before Trump and Vance even arrive. Now, the roads themselves won't be blocked off until about an hour before they depart the airport. Won't just be freeways, though. Overpasses as well. That roadway will be blocked by one or two uniformed police officers. So every intersection is blocked off. A vehicle cannot enter into the motorcade path from the left, from the right, or from any road from behind or in front when the when the motorcade is traveling. Wondering what is going on and when am I going to get out of this traffic? <laughs> so that's going to be one of your concerns, especially if you really have some place to be, but it's necessary as we obviously really know now, it's necessary that these precautions be, be, be taken. And yeah, so as far as when you can get out of traffic, Langham says the, the second that, uh, that uh, Trump and Vance pass a particular point, that road is gonna get, get reopened. Now, as far as taking those extra safety measures, I asked, I asked Langham, what can we expect the Secret Service and the rest of those law enforcement officials to do to make sure everything goes off as smoothly as possible tomorrow? We'll have his answer coming up at 6 o'clock, Josh.